Sagittarius, this right here, it's all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, guys. Thank you so much for the constant support and comments and the fun you bring to Born Without Boundaries. As I wrap up the end of the year, I gotta say it's been a whirlwind and it's been awesome. And thank you for being a part of it and please do join me moving into next year because it's just gonna keep getting better. All right, Sagittarius. This is your energy for the week ahead, for the next seven days. Sagittarius sun, moon, rising sign, Venus sign. In fact, wherever Sagittarius influences your chart, you can take these energies and apply it to that portion. Now remember, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. Now let's get down to it. Sagittarius, for this coming week, sun, moon, rising sign, energy for Sagittarius, all Sagittarius, that's right, wow. Sag, you were just like throwing up all over this reading. There's a lot coming out for you. Let's see what your crowning energy is. Gosh, dog it. Gosh, dog it. Spirit has you back. Sagittarius, this is a great card. Now, this could be legal proceedings, governmental proceedings, some sort of industry, some sort of uh, superior noticing you, recognizing you. Like in the 3D world, it could be winning a court case or making a breakthrough in terms of some problem you've been having with some sort of government or institution. It could also relate to the military. Um, some Something, somebody you know in the military, um, their presence in your life, or just the military being a big part of your life. Whatever this is, this is definitely some sort of authority. And overall, it could be you yourself taking authority, um, knowing that you basically have a direction and, and see the future and know where you want to go with the rest of your life and feeling really good about it. It's also saying that it's almost like Papa Jupiter right up in here, but this is like Papa Saturn right up in here. So it's almost like reminding us of Jupiter and Saturn kind of getting together because Jupiter's moved into Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. And I have to say, there's definitely this energy and a reminder in this card that now they're working together. Now Jupiter is your energy. It's fortune. It's beneficial. You know, it's it's good luck. It's, it's breakthroughs. It's moving ahead. And then the Saturnian energy that can do the same thing, but it's a lot more hard-earned. It's a lot more structured. It's a lot more pedantic. And it's a lot more like governmental. So just know, Sagittarius, that Jupiter still got your back. It's just working um, in a not so mysterious, ever so practical, extremely organized and scheduled way. And so know the next year isn't just going to come about, you know, all the luck and all the fortune that's still out there for you is going to take a lot of dedication and hard work and crossing your T's and dotting your I's, stuff that may seem really irritating to you, but at the same time, It'll be worth your while by the end of next December. Seriously. So this is the energy of spirit still has your back. Of good things coming. Good things that take practicality. Good things that going to take tenacity. Uh, good things that, you know, are going to take some sort of stamp of approval. If you want to, if like that's, because that's, you know, the stamp, like our seal. Almost like seal of approval the seal of approval now at least for the next seven days the seal of approval is yours you have the seal of approval Sagittarius now where in your life do you have the seal of approval well I don't know you let me know where in this where where is this seal of approval coming from we're gonna get into the rest of this cards but definitely there is this energy of having the seal of approval moving forward getting ahead Okay, just a reminder that if you are on platforms where they allow for commercial breaks, I'm going to put one in here and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. All right, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. This has got something to do with love. You could have just gotten married. Um, in other words, yeah, there's a, like a, there's a making something official, making a love official, making something that maybe you kept to yourself. Maybe you'd kept silent or hidden from people because basically you were trying to protect it. This is definitely a breakthrough in something that you were trying to protect and trying to nurture. And there's sort of this uh, systemic breakthrough. Um, yeah, almost making something official, officializing 
could be custody of a smaller child. Like could have say, like I said, he could have gone to a justice of the peace to get married. You could be deciding spontaneously to go um, to the justice of the peace. You could be marrying somebody from the United States of America because a lot of times this is the United States. Uh, a symbol of the United States is the bald eagle. So, but it's also the spirit symbol of the great spirit. It's the messenger bird of the great spirit himself. It's sort of having the eyes, ears, and insight or foresight of the great spirit so you have the foresight of the great spirit and the tenderness of a little fawn there's a really break there's a beautiful love in your life isn't there sagittarius there's a gentle energy of just having somebody coming into your life that is actually the right person for you mm. there's always enough this is emotional clarity Happiness, happiness with emotions, not being afraid of this is Piscean energy. You could be dealing with a Piscean. Um, this is the energy of really being happy with what you feel and comfortable with what you feel and being around somebody that you can be yourself with. Or it could be a group of people that you could be yourself with, but there is this energy of really being fulfilled and happy in a calm way. There's a calmness to you. There's a st stableness to you. There is an assuredness to you that makes you kind of feel real good this next seven days, this coming week. I love that energy for you. Be at home. Sh heart chakra open wide. This is on the home front. So... You got, you either got some good news from some sort of authority, could have even been from a hospital. You could have gotten some good news, like something just came through, something just came in, um, some sort of approval, or like I said, stamp of approval. There was almost like the seal that just came through, some sort of official paperwork that came through. Maybe you just signed your mortgage. You know, it's, it's almost like that. You know, you just signed a contract of something that really breaks through and brings you to a higher place. You know, you just got approved for that plot of land or to break ground on your house. Or like I said, you just got married, but the miracles are endless. And this is definitely sort of being in line with the gods, being a vehicle for the gods, which basically means that you guys have acted in the right way you've done the right thing and now you're being rewarded for it and that's that jupiter saturn conjunction you know that's that's that saturn saying hey you know what sagittarius has really stood up they've really done the right thing and there's sort of a, a breakthrough here like a karmic breakthrough of sag you get to have a very 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 merry christmas there's also this energy of getting a great gift receiving a blessing that you didn't expect hearing from somebody you could be hearing from somebody that you didn't expect to hear from you could be getting paperwork in that you thought would take much much longer you could be making a breakthrough or getting a message of yay you got it this is really nice energy i gotta say spirit has a plan seeing things from a distance and from high up little buddha right here i don't know if you have a buddhist or you are a buddhist or you have a buddhist in your life but there's definitely somebody that has been watching out for you, looking out for you, taking care of you. And it's all because you sort of like tapped into this divine plan. Um, this is also opportunity coming from afar or up on high, which could be a job offer of some sort or like a lawyer or a judge making a decision in your favor. Damn, Sagittarius, this is a good week. You are never alone. Oh. Well, now I'm feeling some love coming through for you, Sagittarius. There's definitely, um, well, okay. Let's put it this way. You're definitely feeling some big love this week. But um, being selected, being cared for, being chosen, um, being warm, being even reunited with people that you haven't seen in a while. This could be, like I said, sharing sharing the home space, sharing the heart space of um, going to visit or going home, traveling home, coming together with people that you love or falling in love. Because this is definitely that opening of the heart chakra. So Sagittarius, this would be a beautiful week for you to fall in love, for you to meet somebody. Um, that you could go long-term with if you're looking for a long-term relationship because this is definitely long-term relationship. Otter spirit, 
outer spirit stays. It's it's forever. So this is you being able to get along, get get to spend time with the person who is most important to you. Maybe you're seeing them after they've traveled long distance. You know, maybe you've, you're seeing them after a long period of time or some paperwork is coming through that officiates the two of you being together or this is a more official stance so maybe you're getting engaged this week or moving in with somebody this is a level up to any place that you were with them already so um your relationship taking on a more serious nature or anybody that you meet in this next seven days um, being somebody that you have potential to be in a long-term relationship with. This could also speak to long-distance travel of somebody that you've waited and wanted to see for some time, somebody who you have kept a close contact with actually coming back to you and you actually being able to be in physical proximity with them, getting to share some physical space with them. Mmm, that's some juiciness. Let's see what happens. Clear out the clutter. Mm, what a tangled web we weave. This could be having to break up with somebody or having to, to get rid of somebody or dump somebody or quick, you know what, anybody who else, anybody who I might have already been dating, I don't want to date anymore. I'm just going to like, I got I to gotta let them down. I got to let it go. I got I to gotta clear out the space. But this is also emotional maturity. This is another level up, but it's more emotional level up. It's, it's going from tadpole to frog where you have more control. You're not just sort of... Uh, rocked by the current if you will because uh, you're forced to live underwater now you can dive in the water jump out of the water go on land for a little while you have more flexibility and more durability um this is you sort of cracking open and sort of being able to see somebody else's perspective understand somebody's emotions being able to be empathetic towards somebody that maybe was a little bit more difficult for you to understand at first so um, this is Cancerian energy, this is Virgo energy, this is Pisces energy. All three of those energies have something in common and that is they really do deal a lot with the heart space and long-term relationships and um, feeling comfortable taking care of people. So there's a gentle energy here, could be your gentle energy, could be you taking care of somebody that you love helping them out, helping to push their life forward, helping to get them some insight or make some network connections for them, um, or they could be vice versa doing this for you. Uh, but Sagittarius, either way, is you're able this week to sort of put behind you some burden. Maybe there was something with this special person or with family that you needed to work out. So there's definitely somebody coming in and helping you work out these complicated matters this week. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I like it. Oh, here we go. Wow. Wow. Let spirit have your, uh, let spirit be your guide and spirit has your back. So these two cards together are. I mean, really having like a powerhouse supporting you, really having somebody who gets stuff done, really having somebody who is very good at influencing other people to sort of push your plight forward. So this is somebody who would have a great deal of influence, like you've tapped into your, your upper scale network and they are able to finally push some doors open for you, make some connections for you. This could be a great bake uh, through. <laughs> Can you see what my mind is at? A great breakthrough for you um, over the next seven days in terms of job opportunities or potential for, um, you know, independent earning some sort of entrepreneurial endeavor really being kicked off and going very well and connecting with the right people and, and, and working that network to really make it take off and go far. This is also, you know, feeling very confident or being backed by somebody who is very confident and very competent and can help um, to help not only support you, but show you the way forward. Uh, some sort of mentorship, reclaim your power. So this could be you coming back from a time when you felt diminished or you felt hidden or you felt um, disadvantaged. You know, um, this could also be somebody having this is my stalker card a little bit, somebody keeping watch from you or keeping an eye on you, or you have been keeping an eye on this situation for quite some time. 
and until now you haven't really seen a breakthrough but because you stuck with it and you didn't give up and you were very very good with the information that you took in this is you knowing who to contact this is you knowing how to connect with the right people Sagittarius you can be very, very good with people. And I think that you're pulling out all the stops this week and really connecting yourself to those people that could help you out the most. This could also be somebody surprising you, somebody that you didn't know had your back, but all of a sudden they do. Good news coming out of nowhere or realizing something and getting um, like cued into some sort of information or intel that could really help you out and advance you like where this person is going to be just showing up at the right time and then being able to network with them type of thing you know like keeping your eyes out and your sort of uh antennas your antennas out and your eyes pointed forward and making sure that you either align yourself or somebody that you really care about with an opportunity that you see coming coming fast so ooh, five 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 there's big changes but these are positive changes Sagittarius good stuff and good opportunities coming your way let me turn the camera around hold on okay so here's your spread now but basically so many beneficial cards are here somebody really really loves you Sagittarius they got your back and they're helping you to clean up your life they're helping you to fix yourself and they're helping you to connect with people who can really help you. Maybe legal aid or, you know, some somebody, some a, a senator that can give you a recommendation. This is a really gr good connection. This is the connection and then this is the, the way that it can move you forward. So um, eagle would represent spirit itself. It's omniscient power. It's knowledge. It's understanding. In other words, spirit giving you wisdom or opening up the door and then let spirit be your guide. Hawk would be the one to show you the way and to bring you forward and deliver the message that this is the direction that you go. This is air energy. So if you're dealing with an Aquarian or a Libra or a Gemini, this is really beautiful energy and it could very well be them coming through and helping you out this week, helping you make connections help making sure this could also just represent that your communication skills are on fleek this week so you're going to say the right things and, and people are going to receive your words what you're talking about they're going to hear you and they're going to be really impressed with you look at look at all eyes on you he's just sitting there cross cross-legged being like tell me more sagittarius tell me more everybody's listening to you they want to receive what you have to offer they're picking up what you're putting down sagittarius so you really have a breakthrough week this week. Please, you know, take advantage of this energy because it doesn't, energy this positive doesn't come around a lot. But this is definitely Capricornian energy, Saturnian energy, looking on you on in favor. And Saturn doesn't look, Saturn doesn't look um, on you in favor unless you've done something right or something good in the past because this is very karmic energy. This is you have to earn saturn's favor you know what i'm saying jupiter your ruling planet can just show up and say hey here's a blessing like oprah you get a car and you get a car no this this would be you had to earn that car and now your car has finally arrived that's what this energy is talking about um so let's see a little dig a little bit further i know when you get good news do you really need an extended reading well yes because what is it that we're talking about and who is involved in this and who is this person that is helping you out so much um also as well what is this love connection and could there be something deeper than just people helping you out well we don't know let's see and we're also going to go into your love predictions for the week ahead so i will see you over there